Hello everyone, in this video we will learn to control the digital tube to dynamically display the numbers from 0 to 9 and the letters from A to F on Raspberry Pi. We program with C language and Python language. Let's first introduce the display principle of the digital tube. Let's get to know the digital tube first. The left is the pin diagram of the digital tube. We use 7 segment digital tubes with decimal points. Each segment is an LED. It can be divided into common anodes and common cathodes according to the connection form. 7 segment display modules used to display decimal numbers from 0 to 9 plus decimal points and letters from A to F. B and D are lowercase, others are capital. We use common cathode digital tubes in this experiment, which connect all LED cathodes together. The common cathode digital tube connects the common electrode to GND when it is applied. When the LED anode of a segment is high level, the corresponding segment is lit. When the anode of a segment is low level, the corresponding segment goes up. The display principle of the digital tube is introduced. Before the experiment, we need to connect the digital tube with the Raspberry Pi. You can connect them together according to this circuit diagram. After the circuit is connected, let's first learn how to program and control the digital tube in C language on the Raspberry Pi. We first open the software mobile system to log into the Raspberry Pi terminal. Click Session. Choose SSH. Enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. The IP address can be looked up on the router. Click OK, enter the username Pi, and then press Enter. Then we successfully connect to the Raspberry Pi. We first input the CD command to enter the path where we place the code. Then input the ls command to view the contents of the current directory. Lesson 15 7 segment display.c is the C program we need. Open it with sudo nano. We first look at the main function part. First, judge whether the initialization is successful with if. Then set the pin to output mode through the method of the pin mode. Set let pins i, comma, output of the for loop. The set let pins array stores the pin number of the Raspberry Pi. Finally, the digital tube is set to display the numbers from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F through the for loop nesting. The innermost for loop is used to take out the level of each segment of the digital tube and assign it to each pin. It is mainly realized by the method of rapid neutral A, comma, int B. The parameter A is the hexadecimal number corresponding to the digital tube. B is the number of digits shifted to the right. Through logical operation with 0x01, take out the level of each segment of the digital tube respectively, and assign the high and low levels of the 7 pins of letters from A to G. High level is bright, low level is dark to each pin. Then you can control the LED on and off of each segment of the digital tube. Then we press Ctrl and X to exit. Let's run the program to see the phenomenon. Enter the compile command sudo gcc lesson 15 7 dash segment display.c dash l wiring pi to compile the program. After compiling, it will generate an a.out executable file by default. We enter dot slash a.out to run it. Then we can see the numbers from 0 to 9 and the letters from A to F scrolled on the digital tube. We next learn how to program and control the digital tube with the Python language on Raspberry Pi. Type cd double dot. Return to the previous directory. Enter the ls command to view the contents of the current directory. Lesson 15. 7 dash segment display dot pi is the Python program we need. Open it with sudo nano. We first define two lists. Set code 17 is used to store the hexadecimal number of the digital tube from 0 to f and set lab pins is used to store the pin number of the Raspberry Pi. Next, take a look at the entry of the program if name 
main, the first is an initialization function set up. Set the pin to physical encoding and output mode and initially set it to low level. Next, it is the loop function, which displays numbers from 0 to 9 through the for loop and assigns the level of each segment of the digital tube to each pin through the write one byte function. In the Python language, you need to use bit operations to get a value on each bit and then write to the corresponding pins respectively. Then we press Ctrl and X to exit. Enter the command to run the program, sudo python3 lesson 15 7-segment display.py and then we can see the numbers from 0 to 9 and the letters from A to F scrolled on the digital tube.